Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's Nugget. I'm Pastor Keith Gray, and I just have a few things for you to chew on this week. One of my favorite passages of Scripture that has always encouraged me, <clears throat> when, especially when things start getting a little twisted, is in Jeremiah chapter 29. You probably know it as well. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, plans to give you a good end. I have recited that all the way from my youth, realizing that God's plans for my life are bigger than I could ever imagine. Sometimes we don't understand just how powerful that passage is until you understand the context. See, Jeremiah is talking to folks who life looks nothing like the plans that they think God has. Jeremiah is talking to a group of people who have been enslaved. They have been taken into Babylon. They have been sectioned off. They're even wondering how in the world they're supposed to praise God in the middle of this place where there is no place to worship. No place to worship. Sound familiar? And God, what they want to hear is when are we getting out of this? They're going stir crazy in their own little cells there, in their own little spot. They're going stir crazy because they were used to being able to go and praise God in Zion and go out to the fields and, and have their own crops. But now they're stuck in quarantine. And nothing about the future looks good. And the only thing they want to hear is how soon can I get out? And God's message before the promise is get comfortable. This situation is not going anywhere. I don't know about you, but that's the last thing that I want to believe I want to believe and hear that everything's going to be OK, that this little experiment called COVID is just going to go away. And I would be so happy and overjoyed if it did. But for many of us, that word, get comfortable here, lets you know that this may last longer than any of us expected. But what about the promises? How can God say, I know the plans I have for you. Was this a part of your plan? And the answer, whether you want to accept it or not is yes. I know what it is that I'm going to do. This is not a time for you to sit back on your laurels and act like I can't do anything. He says, I want you to get married, have children, raise a family, do what you need to do. This is your time for productivity. This is a time not to sit back and wait till things are over. Bad times have always been the time when God's people do their best work. So this time, even in quarantine, is your time. God says, the plans I have for you might lead you through captivity, but it will not stop the production that I've made in you. Why? Because I know the plans I have for you. And your plans don't end stuck in COVID. I'm going to prosper you if you'll allow me, if you will take up 
and do what's in front of you. Do those things that you've always thought about doing, but life has told you you don't have time. If you will now bring out those things that God has called you to do, plans, God says, I have to bring you to a good end. That's all the time I have today. I'm hoping that this will inspire you to look at your situation not in the worst case, but look for where God is leading and follow where he bids. Till next time, chew on this. God bless you.